And for some reason, this was the shoe that was included in that display. And the reason why that's so interesting is because The Air Jordan 3 Retro Katrina is another Air Jordan 3 Retro that's dropping in 2018. As you know, 2018 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 3. It was a shoe originally designed by Tinker Hatfield and over the course of three decades, it's gone on to be one of the most celebrated sneakers of all time. And this year, uh, Jordan Brand has gone to great efforts to give this shoe a lot of attention. You know, it started with the re-release of the Black Cement 3s with Nike Air. There was the Justin Timberlake edition. There was a free throw line edition, the Tinker version, and there's gonna be a lot more this year. The next release that we do know is this one right here. It is the Katrina colorway, and uh, we're gonna give you a first look at the shoes. I'll show you some of the details while talking about some of the background behind this colorway. So, as you can see, it comes in your standard Air Jordan 3 retro box. Elephant print, OG inspired. Let's take it out. Your standard elephant print tissue. And boom, here it is. It's a beautiful looking shoe. So this is the Air Jordan 3 Retro with the nickname Katrina. Before we go into that nickname a little bit, we're just gonna show you the finer details of the shoe. This is a size 10 and a half. The upper has the same tumbled leather that you'll see in the Timberlake version, the free throw line version. There's a smooth mud guard, a classic gray and black elephant print, and of course the fire red on the heel. A lot of people do mistake this for an original colorway because it's been included in a lot of displays alongside other OGs, but this is not an OG colorway, although it pretty much could pass as one. Unlike the other releases, the Katrina 3 does not have Nike Air on the heel, but goes with the more updated Jumpman Air logo. Take a look at the tongue and you'll see it's, it kind of looks like a pair of white cement 3s to be honest, but overall it's a great looking shoe. Another shot of the uh, medial side. sole. See the Jordan on the sole instead of the Nike. So the reason why these are called the Katrina is because in 2005 when there was you know all the devastation caused by Hurricane Katrina, Jordan Brand actually donated an entire set of Air Jordans for charity. So that would go on to be auctioned off and those funds would be used for you know the relief efforts for Hurricane Katrina. However, this particular colorway of you know, white, gray, and red actually first existed as a player exclusive for Derek Anderson. The Blazers, you know, the color schemes are very you know, Jordan-esque, you know, lots of reds and whites and blacks, although he did start his career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, but we digress. So yeah, this was originally an Air Jordan 3 PE for Derek Anderson, and it had the DA initials right over here, and that was the first known version of this colorway. Later, again, like we said, it was donated as part of the Hurricane Katrina Relief Fund. And then later, when Michael Jordan got inducted to the Hall of Fame, Jordan Brand set up a special exhibit at the Hall of Fame called the Become Legendary exhibit, and it basically showed all his footwear. And for some reason, this was the shoe that was included in that display. And the reason why that's so interesting is because, you know, this is not an original colorway. All the other shoes in that collection were all OGs. And you know, while these can pass as OGs, because I mean, it's a very simple bull style colorway, these were included in there. Fast forward to 2018, this is the first known retail release of the shoe. Again, um, it has you know, tumbled leather, flat leather on the mud guard. You have your classic gray and black elephant print and the gray outsole. Like we said before, it kind of makes them look like the white cement threes, but there's the fire red on the heel. Uh, it's been painted on, as you can see. Very clean looking shoe. This is probably one of the few retro colorways that can pass as an OG. And that's why it's probably gonna sell out pretty fast, similar to the Air Jordan 9 PE that dropped earlier this year. But again, these drop May 12th in the United States. 
and just prior to this video, they first released at Sneaker Politics. It's a sneaker boutique located in the New Orleans area. Um, so Jordan Brand teamed up with them to do a special edition event just to celebrate the first ever release of this shoe. They did some you know, special edition details with like a hang tag and like a neon green pair of laces. So yeah, this is the Air Jordan 3 Katrina. You have an idea of why it's called the Katrina, even though it's sort of tied to a, a devastating effect. These shoes drop May 12th for $190. They're gonna drop on Nike sneakers and pretty much everywhere else. You can consider these as a quote unquote general release, but we expect these to sell out pretty fast. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for our next unboxing video.